dream you still have. Yes, Master. Hey guys! Welcome back and welcome to my re-review of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 1. Starting with favorite character from Clone Wars Season 1. Hmm... I would have to say it's Anakin. He's... <laughs> even though Anakin is kind of... well, you know, he's Anakin. He's much more likable in the Clone Wars than he is in 2 or 3. So, yeah, Anakin's definitely my favorite character in Season 1 of the Clone Wars. Um, he shows a lot more maturity in the animated series than he does in either of the movies, which is nice to see. And I like to see him sort of in charge of a young one. It makes me think that if only Palpatine hadn't thrown his hat into the ring, Anakin actually would have been a pretty good dad. Least favorite character from Season 1 of Clone Wars? Um... Don't beat me up for this, but Ahsoka. <laughs> the first season of Clone Wars and the Clone Wars movie, she just comes off as annoying. There, I said it. Yeah, she's good at what she does, but I don't like her attitude. I can see why Anakin calls her snips. Best episode from Season 1 of the Clone Wars? Oh, that's definitely um, Innocence of Ryloth. It shows the cost of war and gives the clones some humanity. It doesn't have the main characters a whole lot, but it still is the most emotional of the whole... of any of the Clone Wars episodes I've ever seen. So it's such a good episode. It was so well directed, um, pretty well animated. The animation's okay, but I'll get to that in a minute. Worst episode in season one? Oh gracious, it had to be... Downfall of a droid. They stuck a fart joke in there. The character is nasty, and it's just... ugh. Okay, so... Starting off with music, um, Kevin Kiner did an okay job, but I'm not crazy about the sort of... I don't know, I just... It doesn't sound enough like Star Wars to me. <laughs> I'm very sensitive when it comes to Star Wars music, and to me, if it's not John Williams or emulating that style, then it doesn't sound like Star Wars. But it wasn't bad, so I give it a 7 out of 10. Story also, um, some of them were really good, some of them were flat out bad, and most of them were sort of in between and kind of meh but not up to the standards I've come to expect from Star Wars, so another 7 out of 10. Animation is definitely the worst part about the uh, the Clone Wars series. Um, I know it was 10 years ago now that it premiered, but unfortunately it hasn't aged well, and the most glaring problem is how far off some of the lip sync is, and that that's just not good. So, the animation gets a 6 out of 10. Voice acting is definitely the best part of the Clone Wars animation. They did a pretty good job, although the first season it's not as good as it was later on. So it gets a 7.5 out of 10, and that brings the average score of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 1 6.75 out of 10. Now, like I said, don't string me up. This is just the first season, and I already told you I'm not crazy about Clone Wars. I've only seen seasons 1 and 2. After that, I lost interest because of the Maul story arc. But, like I said, I'm going to try and give it another chance, see the rest of the episodes that I haven't seen, and try and give it a fair assessment. My reactions to the last three episodes of season 1 of Clone Wars will probably be up sometime tonight. I'm still converting, yeah, <laughs> my, the family reaction to The Last Jedi on my computer. It's going to take a while <laughs> before I can even edit this. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more like them, go ahead and click that little subscription button down below. I realize my opinion on The Clone Wars is very unpopular, but please, again, don't string me up. Because of it, it's just my opinion, and who knows, I may like it better as the seasons go on. Question of the day. If you have seen Clone Wars Season 1, which episode is your favorite? Go ahead and post a comment below. But until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye, guys.